I usually write poems about myself, but this is about everybody else in the world. It's like weird, whatever. Um, introduction. Hello, callous hand. A Julius Caesar that we shall savage. Spiders' webs that don't carry flies were spat in by spectators in fresh suits. Triple webs hover lower. Can you spin gold? Surely you don't want to chew their food for them. The body. Moons of ration grow more. Fly meal for a filthy whore. And pious promise treats as well and alike subsequently hikes to hell. Abundant lunar faces hollow out virus hiding spaces. Vacations to Ware and Cancun outsourced to the metal bird. Cannot be caught with tears and letters of flimsy intention, lack of calculation for other. If I come right out to you and say it, will the thought be yours or mine? A code to stick in your pipe, a code for which to fight. Your code north, their code south, mine east, yours west, mundane or chalian. To discuss and discuss a dissection where neurons relay warning signs. Smoke signals are our only path to make a clear day grow neon, glow neon. By hell, we deserve more! Spider birds, bullets, Americans, all missing points, not burning others' crops. I swear to you, this is not achieved by lying about, not singing about your hair. Only real code key that is emotional and logical equally. Brief moments of lucidity. Remember every body bag fondly, but still kill yourself to ring Zenith bell. Never step on without permission. Every story a song worth singing. The higher you die, the higher the next body bag climber dies. It's okay to be a machine. Because in toil without regard to reward lies a creed worthy of divinity. Cave paintings mirror to humanity. Accept the sissy of being rock or perish in obscurity. Attempt to inscribe pseudonym on collective memory. Point one. Important not to hammer coffin nails on great expanses where experience could have once lived. Do not force a dome of stars to fall upon a brow you pointed out. Real next level. To call upon a bloody eagle, a nose to throw the steps away. Think about the pain you've passed. Was it purchased by a fellow's fun? Does the secret come without precursor? None in this hemisphere have ever found. Without moving loathing lips and gums around. It seems a crying shame to vulgarize the crime of inexperience. Enlightened is a hollow shell. If clemency is not a constant doctrine, applied frugally to the sly, liberally to the uninitiated. Break the legs of spiders so they catch more flies. Birds of different colors are made of bone and physics. If recognition's traits do not bleed right through these bandages, bleed like ink through this paper. Told Temet's paper with words intended as magic, reviving spells, bidding to heal the wounds of separation. Let's hold each other close to avoid the hurricane winds of time, eating us without regard. If we don't always apart remain, our tension we never regain. So clearly, they distract us or let us distract ourselves straightforward to keep us spiritually, mentally apart, poor, so that we may not make the changes that improve humanity, hopefully into space, the goal of all. Pain is good. Can't tell enjoyment without. Cannot force enlightenment. You are not enlightened if you look down on others for different views. You are not enlightened if you look down on others for different views.
Go. Okay. Hello. I have to wake up early tomorrow. <laughs> I have to deliver some babies. No, I'm not a doctor. I just got a truckload of babies I need to deliver. Speaking of babies, <laughs> there's this baby store called Rattle and Roll. I guess they left the shake part out of it because you know shaking babies is the number one cause of death among babies <laughs> next to baby AIDS. Well, you know what they say, when life gives you babies, make baby AIDS. <laughs> Speaking of AIDS, <laughs> What's the difference between kids and AIDS anyways? One letter. <laughs> I know this guy named Alan, and he's a homo, which is short for homeowner. I'm joking, he's gay. In my bathroom, I've got two kinds of soap. I've got warm ginger and coconut, and then sweet basil and lemongrass. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to prepare a meal or wash my hands. I tell you, have you noticed how shampoo and salad dressing are becoming interchangeable these days? Like I'll often find myself putting shampoo on my salad and washing my hair with salad dressing. Have you ever taken a shower before and reached for what you think is the shampoo, but it turns out to be salad dressing? Hey, what's the difference between shampoo and salad dressing anyways? I don't know. <laughs> you ever gone to a restaurant before and the waiter comes up to you and asks if you want soup or salad but you thought you said shampoo or salad dressing? <laughs> Why would he say that? You're in a restaurant, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you Suki ever gets mad at Rory and Lorelai because they eat so much but they never gain any weight? <laughs> no more, no Gilmore Girls fans? Oh. <laughs> Have you ever driven across the bridge before and halfway across the bridge you put your turn signal on to make the person behind you think you're going to drive off the bridge? <laughs> Did you know that 30% of men are actually just two six-year-old boys? <laughs> Theodore Roosevelt once said, I dream about men who take the next step instead of worrying about the next thousand steps. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. President, did you just say that you dream about men? What are you, gay? Speaking of the Roosevelt, Eleanor Roosevelt never needed to cheat on her husband. Because FDR was so good at eating pussy. He, he had to be. Because as a child, he had polio, so he lost the use of his legs and his dick. And back in those days, you had to be good at either fucking or eating pussy. Because vibrators only had electrical cords this long. So you have to use it. You have to be like right up against the wall. And that's not very comfortable. Am I right, ladies? <laughs> I had this dream once where I was having sex with this girl and we were having sex at French Kissing. And when we were done having sex, I asked her if she loved me. And she said no. And I woke up from the dream just crying because sex without love is just sad. Am I right, guys? <laughs> Thank you all very much. God bless. Woo!